Yes, yes. The trouble with today's youth is the Beatles. When the older generation was the younger generation, it was different. We had fun, but we were sensible. Ringo, Paul, George, George. who are not anxious that any of the concerts should be cancelled at all. Uh, actually, if any of the promoters were so concerned and it was their wish that a concert should be cancelled, I wouldn't, in fact, stand in their way. This one, with this song, everybody, clap! Yeah? Okay. And the rest of you, the rest of you, stamp your feet. Seventy-five teenagers from Pennsylvania petitioned Her Majesty the Queen to have the Beatles knighted. Well, this hasn't happened. But today I'm pleased to say that they have been made members of the most honourable order of the British Empire. Congratulations, John, George. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. 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 Tell me, how did you all react to this? Well, I went... <laughs> <laughs> Which means in sound. Whoopee. Well done. George. Well, I sort of went, wow, that's great. Ringo. Yes. About the same. Yes, I think we all felt pretty well the same. Now, last Six. year in America, your record sold no less than ten million dollars worth. Do you think your export sales has something to do with this? Well, you know, somebody said it might have been that. The papers keep know. telling us it means it's. Um, it was it could have been that, but it could have been. It might have been that. the tour in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you think you'll go back to the Commonwealth again? This was a sensational visit. Yeah. Well, you know, we probably will. It's up to Mr. Epstein, our manager. What does this MBE mean to you all? How are you going to deck out to go to the palace? There's certain protocol to be observed. Are you going to dress up in morning dress? Yes, well, I think we'll, you've got to, haven't you? Yeah, we'll have to. We'll, we'll get them. them. What about the haircut? Well, we're not going to get it all cut off, you know. Someone said we can carry the hat, so that'll be easier. I think Her Majesty will understand, you know. She may well do. From obscurity in a cellar in Liverpool four years ago and now to Buckingham Palace. Gentlemen, what do you think everybody on the other side of the Atlantic is going to say to this? Whoopee, I hope. <laughs> yes, I hope. You never know, they might say, boo, or... They might say, uh, hello, cobber, or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Or, hello there, boys. Good on you, blue. Yeah. Well done. Well, well, howdy, well. Europe. <laughs> Texas speaking. Now, so two of you have got married, and you all live in world good domestic splendor. Has this affected That's your okay. writing, Paul and John? No, no it's easier know. to write with cushions and so <laughs> you know, on, hard, on pieces of hard bench, which you know we were on hard benches before we made yeah, you know, it. On the slime and the cellar of Liverpool, and it's much easier on a nice cushion. Your plans for tours for this year and next year? Uh, we're going to Europe next week. Next, next week. Sunday, actually. And then we come back and, uh, and we go off to America. For two and a half weeks. A telly. Yeah.
Uh, oh, we do the Ed Sullivan. Good old Ed. Ed Sullivan. Hi, Ed. Is he on? He's you? watching. He's watching in this one. Look. <laughs> there he is. All right, Ed. It's Mrs. Ed. Oh, I'm Mr. Ed. <laughs> Have you checked, gentlemen, whether you'll be able to wear your MBEs on any of these other foreign television programs? Well, I suppose once they've given them to us, we can wear them. Where we we don't look, look you look a bit funny, though, know, going around with your medals hanging off, isn't it? Well, we could, we could wear <laughs> them on stage. <laughs>